Well, I think one thing always in spring ball is that you're really excited about your freshmen that you redshirted in the fall getting a chance to really compete. And they're very excited about that too, and that brings a lot of energy to your practices because the whole fall they spent their time, you know, basically playing scout team for the offense or defense, depending on what side of the ball they were on. And so they worked all winter off season working on getting stronger and faster. And so they hit the field in, in spring and they're like new men, you know. Uh, they were puppies in the fall and, and a little bit intimidated and now they're ready to compete. And that's that's always really exciting part of spring to me, to see these young guys who have got a lot of ability and potential uh, start to realize some of that. Now for us in particular, you know, we returned 10 starters on offense and we, we lost nine starters on defense. So uh, we're having to, you know, kind of find our way on defense. And we do have, you know, we play a lot of guys during the season anyway. We'll play two or three deep. So we got a lot of guys with experience. We just got to find the right mix. and and especially who are who are, are going to be that number two and that number three guy. That's big for us this spring. It's always a lot of fun. When you have someone that really comes out of nowhere, really didn't have high, very high expectations for them, and, and they're having a great spring, that always is, is a positive. These guys now, instead of the mindset of, okay, we want to go to the playoffs is our goal, we want to go and we want to advance. That's our goal, you know. One round is not good enough. and. Uh, Anytime your expectations are raised, I think that's got to be good for your program. And that's the way these guys are thinking right now. And, and uh, that's real exciting to me to see that, you know, to see them having that mindset.